Townsend, and I'm hosting tonight with Dr. Deborah Viglione, and it's our pleasure to have you on. Um, we've been doing these uh, series uh, for several months now, and we try to do a different topic each month, um, everything related to health and wellness, and tonight is yet another one of those, cop uh, those um, uh, Zoom uh, webinars, uh, which we think you'll enjoy and get a lot of really good information. Um, Dr. Viglione and I became acquainted through our health and wellness business and decided this was a mission that we wanted to take on together and um, just share information. People that can access information and learn more about how to take control of your health. And tonight we're going to be talking about health span and longevity. At the end of our presentation tonight, we'll tell you where you can go um, for questions and where you can also go to review the presentation that we're sharing tonight. So I'm gonna bring Dr. Viglione on and start our, our presentation. Okay, here we go. So tonight we're gonna to talk about NAD. And if you don't know what that is, you're going to know in just a minute. And I'm going to turn the first part of our presentation over to Dr. Deborah Viglione. Her practice is called Living Waters. She specializes in regenerative medicine. She is board certified in internal medicine by the American Board of Internal Medicine. She's also board certified in anti-aging and regenerative medicine through the American Academy of Anti-Aging Regenerative Medicine. She's been practicing for around 30 years. So we're gonna talk about longevity tonight. And she also um, is on a science advisory board for a global health and wellness company. And she loves to research, especially new things that are being developed uh, along the pathways that we're going to um, share with you tonight. And she really, really digs in and presents a lot of great information. So enjoy, and we'll tell you how to reach out to us and get more information at the end of our presentation. So Dr. Big Leon. Hey, all right, so I know I've said this before, but being in an anti-aging practice, a wellness practice, um, the three biggest complaints I have is people come in and say they're tired. They're mentally and physically tired. They're not able to do the things that they enjoy and want to do. Uh, sometimes they even wake up. They're not rested. They said, I didn't feel like I had a restful sleep. I don't wake up with energy. I'm not ready to just seize the day. They also are dealing with brain fog. Um, you think about it, the brain controls the body. And so when the brain is tired or fatigued, the body's going to automatically feel that way. Even if you've been sitting at your desk like this guy all day, you know, you can be tired because you've got mental fatigue. And they and they're talk about brain fog, like I'm just not able to put things together. I'm not able to have the word recall I want. And then the third thing is they say, I'm fat. I'm not doing anything different, doctor. I haven't changed a, a thing. My exercise is the same. My diet's the same. And I'm packing on five to 10 to 15 pounds a year. What is going on? And then if they are working out, they'll be like, I just, I'm not recovering the way I used to. And that's particularly in long-term athletes. They're like, what's going on? Why is this happening? So that's people at the computer all day long. Go on to the next one. All right, so this term golden years, you know, retirement years that are supposed to be something magical about them. Well, that term actually, I guess, started with um, Franklin Roosevelt when they were coming up with the whole social security program and Medicare, uh, because it was really never a concept before. People worked until they died, you know? And now it's like people are spending these last years of their life in not in good health. They're not doing the fun things that they'd always hoped to do, travel, et cetera, spend time with their grandkids, you know? Um, that it's more reminiscent of the one on the right, you know, being in a retirement home, a nursing home, or, or dying of some disease. And this person on the left is amazing. You guys need to look her up on YouTube or Google, Ernestine Shepard. I believe now she's 81. I'm not sure exactly when that photo was taken, but I think she was in her 80s. She has stayed fit for the bulk of her, say, middle-aged life. And she is an example of 
what the body's actually capable of if you give it the right nutrition, the um, right um, discipline in, in your daily activity, your toxin exposure, your exercise. Amazing, amazing. And you, you can see all the pictures and you can you know, chronologically follow her, but that's possible, folks. And we're gonna talk about activating sirtuin genes, which is critical in that. So we've done this series, as, she, as uh, Rita was telling you, so you can look up some of these other videos that we've done, but there's three main theories of aging, and they all kind of funnel into the oxidative stress, which is the first one, which is free radical damage to the cell. So please go back and look at that, that video. The next one is the mitochondrial decline and loss of function. Those are the organelles in your cells, all but red cells have them, and that's what makes 90% of our energy. And the oxidative stress is actually killing them off with time. And so there's where a lot of your decreased brain function and your decreased ability to exercise, your increased weight um, and lack of energy comes from. And tonight we're gonna to talk about the sirtuin genes, which are known as your longevity genes. So next slide. Okay, so what exactly are these? Um, there, there's a number of them, but the one we're actually talking about tonight is probably the most studied, and it's called sirtuin-1 or SIRT-1, and it's known as a cellular guardian. One of the main things it does is protect against DNA damage. So again, that oxidative stress is destroying our DNA, destroying our cells, and it helps protect against that. And they've had a lot of animal studies, even fruit flies, that showed that when we increase sirtuin activity, we actually increase the lifespan in these animal studies, and there's multiple ones. And it, it helps when you activate these, reduce that age-related loss in function. You know, you don't wanna, I tell people, you wanna maintain, you know, great cognition, great mobility, and um, you also wanna look young. But when you activate these, it helps stop that age-related age loss in function. Now this is what happens as you age. So you've lost 40% of that sirtuin activity at age 50. By the time you're age 80, you've lost 90 to 98%. That's freaking scary. I don't wanna be like that. I wanna be like Ernestine. All right, let's move on. So we're gonna tell you how we do it. So NAD, don't call it NAD, it's NAD, which stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And it is necessary to make energy. It's the actually beginning part of the whole energy process that goes on the, in the mitochondria. And I went into that a little bit at the end of my mitochondria lecture. And NAD is found in every cell. And you have to have NAD to activate those sirtuin genes. And literally, you would die in less than 30 seconds without the presence of NAD. And just because of what we're going through right now, um, COVID-19, depletes NAD in the body. And that's one of the mechanisms that contributes to the respiratory arrest and death with COVID. Move on. All right, now that I'm gonna spend a little time on this slide because this tells you how important NAD is. Now it's in the anti-aging literature, this is huge. All the things that activating these sirtuin genes do. Um, it's interesting, the pharmaceuticals, as long as I have been in the anti-aging business, have been trying to come up with a drug to increase sirtuin activity, and they've not been able to do it, which is interesting. So what happens when you increase your NAD, you actually increase the production of mitochondria, which you need, and they die off as you get older, so you need to replace them. It also helps you get rid of old malfunctioning mitochondria. And think about it, as if waste accumulates in the body, including dying cells, dying mitochondria, that creates junk in the body and causes further damage. So one of the big parts in the anti-aging and longevity is to get the trash out of the body, which includes old mitochondria, and that's called mitophagy. Other cells, it's called autophagy. So that's a big part in anti-aging. Keep the body clean, keep it young. Um, it improves the body's metabolism, and that includes using our insulin and not building up um, resistance to insulin, improving our sensitivity. That enables us to burn fat better and reduce you know, a good deal of abdominal fat. That's one of the things that happens as you age. It helps support 
your lipid and glucose. So it actually helps prevent diabetes to have more NAD around. Another thing, it activates a, a tumor gene. Now I do have another video out there on my YouTube channel that goes into a little more depth in the science of NAD and it talks about P53, a tumor gene, but this helps suppress uh, tumor formation in the cells. It helps keep um, a normal inflammatory response. When you're injured, you need to increase inflammation to heal whatever you injured. What you don't want is a chronic ongoing inflammation that causes more damage, and this helps keep it in balance. It also balances something called mTOR, which is cell growth and metabolism. You want to balance. You don't want to have too much cell growth. That could be cancerous. You don't want to have too little. You've got to keep in balance and replace what is dying with something new and healthy. We talked about it protecting DNA. It helps support your neurological, um, your brain tissue. It helps when um, protein synthesis, keeping the immune system healthy. And I love this part because you guys know I'm in stem cell medicine. I love that way it helps rejuvenate stem cells. It increases your physical performance. And this is one thing I have been um, activating and increasing my NAD now for um, probably about a year and a half. And um, prior to me starting on this product that increases the NAD, I had done the same workout for two years and pretty much was stagnant in, in my results. And after about six months of increasing my NAD, I had to start adding more reps, uh, more intensity to uh, my workouts because they were getting too easy. And that was the only thing that changed. There wasn't anything diet or otherwise. So I had to attribute that to the NAD. Um, okay, I already talked about the longevity. The other thing that's really interesting is sleep is a problem for most people as they get older. And, and I, that's one of the problems with me, shutting off my brain, getting into that deep sleep, then having good REM sleep. And I have noticed while I've been on that, that it has definitely improved my sleep quality. And I don't generally need to sleep as many hours, which is really cool because I wake up rested and ready to go on um, sometimes. Well, I guess I'm probably averaging an hour, hour and a half less sleep than what I used to use. All right, so let's go. Um, okay, so we're gonna talk about how do you boost it. One of the big fads out there now is calorie restriction. And there's actually a group of people that it's like a club that they do calorie restriction lifelong and they only eat maybe 800, 700, 800 calories a day. They're very thin, but they know that it increases longevity. Um, I'm not signing up for that group. I don't think that's fun. Exercise increases sirtuin activity, and I love to exercise, but you can overdo it and make it go the other way. Resveratrol is predominantly what the pharmaceuticals have been looking at, trying to figure out a way to alter that molecule so they can put a patent on it and do the same thing. And studies have been very mixed. Um, some studies have shown increased sort of activity, but not a lot. The latest thing that really happened, I guess, um, about a year ago, maybe a little bit more, was um, nicotine riboside hit the market with some data that showed increased production of NAD, and it went crazy. And if you start looking for NAD, you're gonna see it pop up now in your feeds. It's gonna be on your ads when you're watching a video because they know that you're interested in it and you're gonna start seeing the supplements out there that increase NAD. But what I am so excited about is a product that does it way more than those products you're gonna see advertised. So let's move on. Okay, so on the left, you're gonna see what doing a water fast for 72 hours does. It will increase the sirtuin activity 94%. Well, that's great, but you can't fast constantly for 72 hours on water, you're gonna die. So that's really not a good way to do it. Now, I'm not saying that a fast now and then isn't a good idea. A lot of people are practicing intermittent fasting, which increases the sirtuin activity as well. I find that also hard to do because I work out in the morning and I really need breakfast. Over here on the right, you're gonna actually see the pathway where NAD is formed, but what I wanted you to see was NAD is the step right before CERT1 is activated. So it's necessary. You cannot activate those CERT genes if you do not have NAD. So that's the point of that slide. I'm trying to keep it simple. My other video is more complicated. All right, so move on. All right, so here's the big issue. On the left is nicotine riboside, which is, there's several products out there that have that. There's also a set of, set of products that have NMN. These are steps in making NAD. NMN is the rate limiting step, OK? 
Okay, so no matter how much nicotine riboside you throw at it, or you can buy supplements that have the NMN, you can only increase NAD a certain amount because there's a rate limiting step. So I'm gonna show you how that plays out in the next slide. Okay, so on the left, we've got the calorie restriction. The, the bottom thing got messed up a little bit. And the 100%, that is two capsules of this novel NAD activator that's 100% sirtuin activity in just 24 hours. Over here, the little bar here on the right, that is nicotine riboside, increased sirtuin activity 2%. Again, there's a rate limiting step, so you can flood the body with NMN or nicotine riboside, you're only gonna get a 2% increase in NAD. That went crazy, that went like viral. The, the anti-aging community hopped on that. They thought that, wow, that 2% is awesome. I'm activating mine 100% every day. Let's move on. Okay, so the way I'm explaining that is you got a conveyor belt. When you add nicotine riboside or you add NMN, you're putting more bricks on the conveyor belt. And you're gonna get more on the other side. But the only way to super duper increase that activity is pick up the speed of the conveyor belt. So that's what I'm doing every day with the product I'm taking. Okay, so move on. Rita? That's it. <laughs> uh-huh. So I don't know about you, but every time I do one of these series with Dr. Viglione, I learn so much. And I've been on this product the same amount of time that she's been on this product, but I get excited all over again uh, hearing the information that she shares. And I, I might also share that um, she's doing this with no notes. I mean, this is what she does, and it's just in her head. So, so we're very privileged to have this science. Um, and we know now from the science, by activating these pathways, we can live longer, but also live healthier. And we can increase lifespan along with better health. So how does this NAD product actually translate to um, what you might do, what you might feel, and uh, what you might expect. So we know now that using science and activation, we have the power to shift this aging paradigm. So when Dr. Figlione asked me to um, share a little bit tonight, she asked me to share about the golden years, and I, I kind of had to laugh a little bit because like her, I've been on these products um, our first product came out about nine years ago, and I've been on all of these products, including this one that came out most recently, for a very long time. So the golden years for me have a, a completely different meaning. I'm the benefit of this science. So we have so much information now that we didn't have before. Um, from the science, I, I think about my parents and their life expectancy and their quality of life when they were at the age that I am at now. I have a lot more choices. And we know from the research also, from genome mapping and DNA, that we can now control about 80% of our genetic predisposition. We can impact our lifestyle with nutrition and using these active and activating these gene pathways. So if you want to be a part of that, there's the things that you can do. So being a part of that is just embracing the things that we've been talking about over these last few weeks. So I started this journey about nine years ago and I started on these natural products. And I really feel like I am part of one of these groups that can actually debunk these myths. Now, if you have any questions about what I'm sharing or what Dr. Viglione is sharing, I suggest that you go to the National Institutes of Health or the National Institutes on Aging, if you haven't heard any of these terms before. You'll see hundreds of thousands of studies on them. But each time I incorporated one of these gene activating pathways into my life, um, I had noticeable changes. So the golden years for me, I don't think I exactly look like this. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> hey, at least she's out there. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. And she's out there with uh, in the gym. <laughs> Hey, I can remember when we looked like that in the gym with those leotards. But anyway, that's the golden years, and we don't want to be there. So um, 
if you really look back and look at this NAD that Dr. Biglion is sharing about, it was actually discovered in 1906. So we've been studying this a very, very long time. And now we have the ability to be a part of the use and the accessibility of that. So what does it mean for your lifestyle? Um, when I was able to start on the product, I literally was um, traveling um, and I was in a different time zone and um, I had an opportunity to start on the product during that period of time. So I travel a lot, so I kind of know what it's like when you're in another time zone and you're trying to do all your normal things. Well, the first day that I took the first dose of the NAD, my usual expectations of fatigue and loss of injury, energy and brain fog and even my sleep, they just were not what they normally are. They just were greatly improved in just the first day. And from that point on, it's really been an incredible part of my lifestyle. Like Dr. Viglione, I can, I can exercise longer and harder. And even on days when I'm just dog tired and think I need at least a day or two to recover, the next day I'm up and out the door and ready to go. So look at this list. And these are just a few of the benefits of NAD, as Dr. Viglione explained. Physical energy, not if you're not a person that goes to the gym, um, but the physical energy to just live the lifestyle that you choose to live. Um, focus, that is something that we need in our everyday lives, no matter what our age is. And I do wanna tell some of my friends that are on here tonight that you know aging doesn't start late in life. Aging, according to science, starts around age 20, and it really starts escalating around age 40. So when we talk about lifestyle and longevity and taking advantage of these products, um, we, don't, we don't think that people need to wait. We think that they need to start embracing these right away. And I'm going to end with a slide that will show you what dramatic differences you can make in your life by doing that. But the daily quality of your life. How about mental acuity? I mean, just using your cell phone, not forgetting things, just going through your day with a clear mind and focus on the things that you need to do, whatever they are. If you're a mom, if you're working, if you're doing all of those things, they're just everyday lifestyle things. And foundational is sleep. Um, for all of us who've been taking this product, even if there is a night where we don't have a really good night of sleep and we wake up in the morning thinking, well, that wasn't a great night, you still wake up with a clear head, ready to go as though you had that really deep quality sleep. Um, that just doesn't happen. Um, concentration, just, you know, as I said, the everyday lifestyle things that we need to do and mood, who doesn't need that? If you're dealing with work, with kids, with spouses, uh, travel, um, COVID, <laughs> politics, it all will definitely affect you. So these are things that you can really do to help all of those situations. So when we talk about it, we talk about living a happy, healthy lifestyle and just getting more done. So whatever you see yourself doing, whether it's your family life or whether it's your retirement life, whatever it is, I don't even talk about golden years because it looks completely different. I want to be a part of that paradigm shift. So if you really want to start that change in your life, you need to start it now, whatever that means for you. So the last chart that I'm sharing with you is based on a study from Harvard. And it's really um, an interesting study, and it's something that Dr. Biglione and I share a lot, but you can find more about all of these um, presentations that we've made, you, you'll, you, you can find those. We'll tell you where to go to get those as soon as I'm finished here. But the purpose of this chart is to show you that by embracing interventions, as demonstrated on the right-hand side of the page, you have a larger chance of mitigating these age-related diseases. Now, the interventions listed on the right are very simple lifestyle, which we share a lot, diet, exercise, and nutritional, the nutritional modifications referred to here are the genetic pathways that we have been sharing, including this NAD product. So the column on the left 
is an estimate of the percentage of, a, of what you can avoid with these conditions that are listed across the bottom. Now, I, I, I don't have all the information on what these conditions are, but what we do know is that these each condition, these four conditions, each one are the top four conditions that are related to aging. And the far right largest column, condition number four, is actually related to weight gain. So as you look at the left-hand side of the, car, of the chart, by practicing these simple interventions, you can look to see that these first two conditions, which are age-related, can be reduced as much as 70 plus percent. When you look at the far right column, which is the risk of weight gain, that is almost 100% reduced by using the interventions that we've been talking about. Now, I don't know about you, but I think this is pretty powerful evidence of all the things that we've been sharing, including NAD. And Rita, one of the reasons they probably don't list the conditions, because again, when you're talking about non-drug therapy, yes. you can't mention diseases. That's kind of the rules with the FDA. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for sharing that, Dr. Biglione. And, and what we do, we, I mean, weight gain, we know about that and all the things that are related to that. So that's, a, that's an excellent point. Um, so wherever you think you are, whatever you think you need to do, these pathways are a huge opportunity for you to really have um, a happier, stronger, more vital, um, forget the golden years, be part of the paradigm shift, be where we are. So I'm gonna close out tonight by giving the information on how to contact us. Um, this is Dr. Viglione's email, um, and I am on here also, my email. You uh, can feel free to ask, ask us any questions about the information that you've heard tonight. We both have YouTube channels. This video will be also posted on our YouTube channels under our names. And Dr. Viglione, anything else you wanna share? No, just stay healthy and well, guys. <laughs> okay, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. And, th and thanks very much for joining us this evening. Good night, everybody. Bye.